Hello, in this video we're going to write a C program that computes the area of a triangle. We will ask the user for the base and the height. We will use the formula for the area of a triangle to compute the area, and then we will display the area. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Um, if you're wondering what this is, um, whenever I use uh, the scanf function, which is one of the functions uh, that we're going to use in this program, um, it tells me to include this so that the program compiles. Otherwise, uh, it gives me an error saying that scanf is unsafe. So it's just a technicality. If you're using a different compiler, you may or may not have to do this. We'll start by including our header file. This, in, this has the printf and scanf functions that we're going to need. And then we have the main part of the program here. This is the main function. And so we have several variables in this program. We have the base, the height, and the area. Those could be decimals, so let's go ahead and define them as floats. Float area, float base, float height. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and ask the user to enter the base. Let's do that. We will use the printf function. Let's be nice and say, please <laughs> enter the base. And we have a semicolon here at the end. Very important to have that. And we'll use the scanf function. And since they are entering the base, which is a float, we'll type percent %f and a comma and then ampersand. And the variable we want here is the base. Base. Let's go ahead and ask for the height. So please enter the height. We have an ampersand here, and then scanf again. And again, we want to use percent %f because it is a float, and this is the height, so height. Very good. So now we'll do the computation. We'll do the actual math now. So newcomer might say area equals one half times base times height, but this will lead to an incorrect result. And the reason is the way that C does integer division, it will actually give you zero here. One over two is equal to zero. So what you want to do is you want to put decimals there so that one over two is 0.5 and so that the computation works correctly. Okay, now let's go ahead and print the area. The area of the triangle is, and it's also a float, so percent F, and area. Let's just double check everything before we uh, build it just to make sure there's no mistakes and then we'll experiment with changing um, the 1.0 to an actual one so you see what happens. We have three variables area, base, and height. They are all floats. First we ask for the base and we retrieve the base so percent %f and ampersand the variable name. Then we ask for the height and scan f again to get the height and we compute the area and then we print the area. Okay, let's go to build, build solution, build succeeded. And now if we go to debug and start without debugging, it says please enter the base, let's say it's two. Please enter the height, let's say it's four. Area of the triangle is four. So success, it worked correctly. Let's experiment here. I'm gonna change this to a one and change this to a two. And let's go back to build solution. So it compiles, run it, two, four. The area of the triangle is <laughs> zero. So it doesn't work uh, when you don't have that. So really important to respect the way that the language does the mathematics. If you're curious, if I remove this, look at what happens. The scanf, this function or variable may be unsafe. Consider using scanf s instead. Disable deprecation, use this. So basically you can just include this at the top of your code and you are good to go. Oops, well s. Pile it one more time. And then we're good to go. Uh, should mention that we have to enter decimals here. Very important. So we can't enter fractions, they will not work. Okay, so that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. Hopefully this has 
uh, helped you learn some stuff. Good luck and take care.